What's going on YouTube? OCD for EDC here. What I got for your face balls today. We're going to do a massive unboxing. So I just got home. If you guys have been watching the videos over the last couple of weeks, I've been on a long trip uh, for my real job. And I finally made it back home late last night. Welcome home, <laughs> my dear. Yeah, my wife is joining me here. Say hello. Hi. Excuse me. So... We have got a whole bunch of boxes here. We've got some brand new stuff from Spyderco. I think two boxes, actually. And a bunch of other stuff. So we're going to get into it. Um, you guys already saw a couple. One of the things I did while I was out west was I went out by Benchmade. And I was with Zach and JB from Big Red EDC. And so some of you guys may have already seen these two knives that I picked up out there at Benchmade. And you know Zach of Zach's stuff. Yeah. Did I not say Zach's name? Mm, you said Zach, but not Zach's stuff. Oh, gotcha. So here is the uh, fact that I picked up. And I was wanting to get the auto fact, uh, but those were sold out. Um, and so I picked up a standard fact. Really cool knife. Love the, the Benchmade fact. It's a beast. Super stabby. And then, this is a knife that I have wanted for a very long time. Uh, the full-size Crooked River. I was able to pick this one up. So they had these... Uh, uh, if you've ever been to the Benchmade factory store, uh, it's kind of like a retail space. And they've got uh, knives on display. And you can check out basically everything that they offer uh, right now. But they have one case that has a bunch of models in it that were things that maybe got built wrong or people didn't uh, follow through with. They ordered off the custom site, and that's what this one here is. So this is a full-size Crooked River. However, it has uh, the standard stock Crooked River has got uh, just raw titanium bolsters, and it's got an orange pivot collar and an orange G10 backspacer. Um, and I don't think it comes with the deep carry clip, the standard one. So this one has got S90V uh, blade steel instead of S30. It's got all blacked out hardware. It's got a deep carry uh, clip and the blacked out bolsters as well as the uh, black backspacer. So pretty cool knife. And she cute. She yeah, cute. Yeah, she, she cool. So what do you think of these? It's big, but it's um, big. But yeah. yeah, it's comfortable. It's cute. I really like the wood. Yeah, it and looks cool, with the right? black. Yeah, yeah, it's very cool. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, what it's hard to reach. Fact? I'm real close to the mic right now. <laughs> That's pretty murdery. I don't know. It's it's good though. Yeah, it's comfortable, right? Yeah, and but, it really would work for anybody. Yeah, it it looks so slim, but it feels better than it looks. Yeah, I think. Yeah, because it looks like it's you know very slim and slender, and and it is, uh, but it works. Mm -hmm. And it's not so small that you feel like. You know, it's not secure in your hand. Right. Well, and with other, you know, knives, typically there's a, well, it seems like I'm no knife genius, but a, a large and a small version of a lot of really popular stuff. Yeah, and, like the Crooked uh, River. This is the full size and they make a mini. But you don't really need that with the fact because even though it might be a little long in my hand, it's not cumbersome or in the way. True that. So, I picked up those two at Benchmade, and then uh, I've got some video that I'll uh, be posting up. It'll be after this video, but I also stopped by um, Northwest Knives in Meridian, Idaho, which is uh, right outside of Boise, and those folks there are just fantastic, uh, just really awesome people, and Aaron uh, and his family run Northwest Knives. Guys, go check them out. Uh, they have some amazing stuff to choose from, uh, but they're just really great people, and I want to help support them. What state were you in again? 
Idaho. Ida pimp. <laughs> you to pimp? Got him. <laughs> <laughs> you finally got me on yeah. that long time. Yeah. I did. So they, they sell a lot of uh, uh, U.S. made stuff. They do have a few uh, exceptions to that, but for the most part, it's all U.S. made. And they just have really awesome selection. So I picked up this uh, little piece here from Spartan Blades. I don't know what all. So you get this sticker. Little Spartan Blades. And this happens to be... Here's this knife here, the Zelos. This is a side opening automatic. Blue aluminum, blacked out hardware, black blade. This is S35VN. And it's got a sick... Uh, lightning strike carbon fiber pocket clip side opening auto I mean I quite love it yeah this thing is super comfortable in hand can I has <laughs> can you have this one um, it's just a gorgeous knife I like and... it's flat all the way through except for the sheen of that carbon fiber I love it yeah love the it. clip is beautiful absolutely gorgeous and you can switch it from uh, tip up or tip down carry and the tip down carry uh, actually works quite well with a side opening auto so if you can imagine it being in your pocket this way and you pull it out with your index finger and your thumb and then you just flip it over bang so tip down carry you know a lot of people just want to do tip up uh, but tip down works well for certain knives so depending on how you pull them out of your pocket it's just uh, less hassle to open the knife so, really cool one. Now, like always, with all these knives, uh, we're going to check the factory edges. Now, I did cut some cardboard with this thing yesterday, uh, but I kept all of it out here, so we've got fresh blade in the backside. The fact, I also used a little bit on my trip. The Crooked River, I don't think, has cut anything yet. Um, so, we'll test these three, but then, of course, the, the new boxes that we're about Girl, to open. Oh, you need to get that clip on well, display, boy. Show that clip. Girl, boy. <laughs> All right. So, those were the three that were picked up on my travels. That's a nice little pile right there. Um, I know what's in this box. We're going to save that because it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. I don't know what this is. Let's open it. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to... Let's start with this one. I did. So, and oh, this got one here... Pull tab. It's got a pull tab on the cardboard. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Got some flashlights. Got uh -oh. some O-lights. Yeah. Uh -oh. And oh, some, boy. some gifts. I didn't know so many flashlights were coming. Um, yeah, I don't even really remember. So we got this nice little. Uh, he has a problem with gift lights bag. and knives, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> so nice little. Here, I got you that. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is. Uh, yeah, it looks like aluminum. I don't know what. This is just a card. A tag for your luggage? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, that's kind of what it's like, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's a Together. aluminum frame. Uh, it's got clear plastic, so you could put like a business card or a tag for your luggage or something to that effect. I like the blue anodizing on yeah. the aluminum. Yeah, it's that's very nice. nice. Let me check it out. And then we got a lanyard here from Olight. We got a i3T EOS uh, triple. I think these are triple A. Yeah, triple A single battery. All right. Let's uh, get a little unboxing knife here. Hmm. What do you got? I don't know. Nothing. I'm just okay. assuming. What are we together about? So this is the new O O bulb or O yeah O bulb. 
the old bulb Your and the orange. Your mom's an old bulb. Old bulb. <laughs> My mom's an old bulb. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ooh, hitting the hitting the stand. All right. So magnetic charging. Oh yeah. An orb. It's an orb, and it comes with. Yeah. Okay. So. See what it what all it comes with here. Why though? Why what? Why why have an orb? Well, so it has a couple different uh, settings. Does it have Pretty a simple. rave setting? <laughs> um, I know it it does have red. <laughs> so you've got this thing that you can. Uh, it's got 3M adhesive on the back, so you can stick it anywhere. It's like a, a challenge coin uh, kind of thing, but oh yeah. So that's going to magnet to that, so you can stick this anywhere. And then if you press down. Oh, she gets bright. She gets brighter. Oh. She goes red. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's your rave mode. Okay, so. This is just a nice little warm uh, light that you can put anywhere, you know, in a closet, somewhere dark, and then you can just tap it. It's like the, you know, rechargeable tap, light. tap lights. Mm -hmm. So, really cool. Uh, it's small. It's smaller than I expected. I expected it to be larger than this. But, uh, yeah, really cool. <laughs> we'll leave it red. And then, did it come with a charger? Yeah, came with a charger as well. Right on. Ooh. Can't take you anywhere dropping everything. Right. Okay. Let's uh, let's check out this uh, pre-run here. Here, here. you want to open this? We're gonna have to. This is gonna be a long video if I don't start moving quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think it's like this. Oh. <laughs> you got to be smarter than the box. Durr. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, she cute, guys. We're just going to take the flashlight out. We're not going to mess with everything else. Yeah. Yeah, just. Get it, queen. Look at that thing. Did you get that for me? Look at this. Or did you just get it for fun? Well. Because the colors isn't really... You know, speaking Justin to me. No, no, but it's a sweet light. So, the faded purple into blue, definitely something Molly's going to enjoy. Now, this one's got the sensor, uh, so if the light's right up against something, um, it'll turn the the uh, temperature down, or the brightness, so you don't torch something. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could put that on my sweatshirt when I go out to feed in the dark. There you go. Now, I'm pretty confident that inside that box, it's going to come with some other uh, attachments, like a headband and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, there's uh, So, of course, it's got the magnetic charging. Pretty simple interface. Yeah, cool light, for sure. The pre-run, too. And then check this out, guys. This is so cool. The Baton, uh, Baton 3 with the wireless charging. Super awesome. I carry um, a Baton 2 pretty much daily. Uh, but the Baton 3 is even cooler. So it's got a, a new updated texture on it. As well as it's a little bit brighter than the Baton 2. Yeah, nice. I dig it. And then you've got this uh, handy-dandy charging case. Now, the one bummer about this is um, I don't think they made this a charging brick for other things, which is kind of a bummer because you could have, you know, a C to C, Type C to Type C cable, and you could use this battery to charge your phone and whatnot. Um, oh, well. Yeah, it's a 3,500 milliamp battery. It would have been cool had they have made it like that, but, Maybe you know, next time. the fact that it charges up uh, 
the case and the light is really cool. Great. Now you have that one, and I can steal your old one for taking photos for the website. Thank you. Yeah, here, here's my old one, the SR1 Baton 2. Uh, I've carried this one for quite some time. So you can see they're physically same height, yeah, same diameter, uh, but the texturing has changed. The pocket clip has also changed slightly. Um, but yeah, otherwise they're, they're very, very similar. I don't know if, will the old one fit in the charging case? Yes, it does. And yes, it's charging. Huh. So this will work for your baton twos. Um, and I think I have a baton one somewhere. I don't know where it is right now. Uh, but it works for the older model as well. Nice. Very cute. Very cute. That's pretty cute. That is pretty cute. Okay. So that's our flashlights. Okay. Now, um, let's we'll start with this one here. So this is a package. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Oop. You got to cut the tape, huh? Mm-hmm. It's kind of a thing. Kind of a thing? Mm-hmm. Oh, and it's got a tab, It's got too. a tab. That's why that was a little... Oh, and no. And it's got peanuts. No peanuts. Dang old peanuts. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, some of you guys might know what this is already. Do you know what this is? No. So, this is an arc form box. Looks oh, yeah. fancy. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Is the theme blue? Yeah, apparently. What are you oh, yeah, and about? You this said, badass oh, knife. yeah. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, so we got an arc form sticker. And that's it. Put that back in there. Okay. A little bit of oil on here. So this is the arc form slim foot made by Protec. <clears throat> Absolutely gorgeous knife. The blue, Protec blue. A little different than... Uh, Spartan Blades Blue, but this is also a side opening auto. Yeah, that thing is sweet. No safety on this one, like the Spartan's got a sliding safety. There is no safety on the uh, Slim Foot. So if you're a rebel. <laughs> That's right. Oh yeah. She's a beaut. Beauty. Okay. What do you think? Check it out. I'm a stitcher. She Not come, really. Comes out with a four top. She's yeah, she does have a bit of a stub nose. That's nice. That's uh -huh, nice. Uh-huh. Why four? Why four are you in my home? <laughs> okay. So we'll chalk this one up over here with the uh knives. And now we're gonna open this box. This box was sent to me by Zach, who we already spoke about, and, oh yeah. Boom, right here, the Adamus. Actually, I'm just checking to make sure, I don't know if there's anything else. No. It sounded like a little bit of a heavy thump. It did, <laughs> but it was just packaging. All right, so we've got two Adamases. Adamases? Adamases? Adamai. Yeah. Adamia? Adamia, there you go. <clears throat> so here we go. Let's check them out. Did a great job packaging these. Thank you very much, Zach. Interesting. Look at this. Okay. 
So we've got uh, a nylon uh, pouch here. And it's got a snap on it, some Velcro. You got belt loops. Yeah, cool. And the access lock card. Did he get these for you? Yes. So when we were at Benchmade. They didn't have the, them? Well, they had them there. I got to feel them, touch them. Uh, this thing, man, this thing's already feels like it's broke in. That's amazing. That's She's ready to party. Yeah. Centering is perfect. Oh, yeah. So this is uh, the Flat Dark Earth. And this is uh, a Shane Siebert uh, design, CPM crew wear. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous knife, deep carry clip. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful blade. Check that out. It feels so good already. Oh, is she happy? Yeah. And then here, same model, but black. So all the same stuff, different color. And this one has, I don't know what the coating is that they're putting on this. Again, it's crew wear. Um, yeah, just beautiful. Man, both of these just feel so good. They're already feeling way better than my Crooked River in the fact. And, you know, a lot of that's going to have to do with the blade just being uh, bigger and heavier. But, yeah, these things feel fantastic. So if you got larger hands, the full size Adamus, uh, definitely the way to go. You want to know what else feels fantastic? What? You being home. Me being home? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so which one do you like better, the black The or... black one. You, really? Yeah. See, I was kind of thinking that it would be cool to put this blade in the other handle. No. <clears throat> huh? No. No? No, I disagree. Okay, well... All right, so there's the two Adominuses. <laughs> the Adomini. All right, which one of these should we open first? We got two Spider Co left packages. Hand. My left or your left? Yours. Mine. Okay. All right, here we go. See how easy and decisive I can be. <laughs> Here's a Spider Co. I have no idea what these are, uh, so we're going to learn together. There is a Collector Club card. Perfect. It's a little baby boy. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Oh! I didn't even know. I had no idea this was coming. Well, she done this did is, game. This is black and orange. Mm hmm Right up your alley. Right up my alley. Black and orange. Shaman in CTS XHP. I, did, I had no idea that this was even coming. She needs a CME. She does need a CME. You better get orange. I'm thinking black, but... Yeah, you could do black, too. All right, let's see what this one, where this one came from. All right, so this is a Cutlery Shop exclusive. If you want to see the details there, go ahead and pause it. Boom, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got XHP... Black coated, uh, orange G10. That thing's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely digging that. Love XHP. That's just a good one all the way around. That actually might be my favorite Shaman to date. Yeah, I was kind of wondering. Kind of thinking that. I mean, there's been some cool ones, but that one's pretty freaking cool. All right, now we've got another... Uh, Spatico box. Collector Club card. Oh. Awfully big box for that. Yeah. Don't even tell me that's all there's in that's there. That's all that was in there. <laughs> so that was a big box for a little, little bitty knife. Oh my goodness. All right. What we got? Boom. There it is. <laughs> Here, oh we'll God, check out the paperwork me. first. This is thenifedistributor.com, and this is a dragonfly 
Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. Carbon fiber. You want to talk about murdered out, boy. I think this is thinner yeah, than the I sock agree. one. I agree. Yeah. And this thing is rocking CPM crew wear. So we're getting ready to see who does better sharpening on crew wear between Benchmade and um, Spyderco. That's my favorite dragonfly that's come our way. Yeah, I think so too. It's It feels really good. And the carbon fiber scales, like I, I'm pretty confident this is thinner than the stock, uh, the FRN dragonfly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It looks like it. What do you think? You check it out. Yeah, yeah. It's good, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna stitch you right <laughs> in the butt cheek. I'm gonna stitch you. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So, this is the pile of stuff. That's all the boxes, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. So, we got lights, we got knives, um, some really awesome knives, two Adominuses. <laughs> it changes every time. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Slim Foot from Arc Form, the amazing new Shaman Cutlery Shop. Oh yeah, Dragonfly. Man, there, there's there's a lot of love on this table here. Oh my, Excuse this is you. fantastic. Oh man, oh bless you. All right, you know you guys know the drill. We're gonna have to get involved here. Find out did they actually sharpen these things or what's what's the what. Now, it's going to be kind of difficult to test the lights, but but I think we're okay. To... We could just shine them up at the camera, and then people could, in the comments, say, yeah, that's bright. There you go. <laughs> Is that bright? Is Does that it bright? work? <laughs> Red. I'm glad it's you Red. guys and not me this time. <laughs> okay. You didn't just put lotion on your hands, did you? Mm -mm. All right. So you can you can load. Uh, Potentially. I'm going to go with the order that I got these. So we'll do the fact first. All right. Whoa. We're going to try that again. <laughs> what did it say? 485. Oh. Here, I'll let you reload. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that can't, that, I can't imagine that's correct. Now, I did use this knife a little bit, uh, but nothing crazy. Like, I opened a couple packages with it. So, let's try a different spot here. Two twenty five. So, needs to be touched up a little bit. I, I don't think I can't don't get feel it. good about it. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> All right. You just have real weak fingers. Because I'm a lady. S90V, Crooked River. Here we go, here we go. That I feel good about. 235. So Benchmade not doing well on, I mean, they're okay. So for those that don't know, on this machine, uh, 350 grams is where a blade no longer uh, shaves arm hair. Uh, but what we really want to see is something under 200 grams uh, for a good factory edge. So that one's not bad, but if you can, I, I shorten can't, up the tail. Yeah, I can't get them tight without more of a tail. That's fine. I'll, I'll touch them up. Okay. All right. Now, the uh, uh, Spartan Blades, Zelos. I'm going to go at the very back of the knife here because I did cut a little cardboard. Ooh, that one might be good. 205. So... Eh, still, yeah, it's, I mean, it's okay. Not wonderful. Kind of like the tightness on this. Hey. 
on this. Oh no, this is just, I suck at this. Can I just be fired again? All right, next one, what do we do here? We did the arc form. So, actually, we'll set them up here. See what this arc form is bringing to the table. Two fifteen. Hmm. We're not getting awesome numbers here, guys. Yeah, yeah. So Pro Tech, meh, meh, meh. Still okay, but nothing amazing. Again, kind of like the tightness on this. Shh. <laughs> Why don't you leave again? <laughs> we'll leave again. <laughs> Okay, now uh, we'll we'll save the crew where we're gonna do the uh, XX, XHP Shaman. See how Colorado's coming in here. They know how to sharpen a knife. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. So now we're talking. Spider Co. coming in hot with 110 grams on the Shaman. Please, 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 please. Oh, that one's tight. Hell yeah. That one's good. I just need to do it with my right hand, not my dumb old left hand. <laughs> dumb old worthless. left hand. Okay. We're going to go for the black crew wear on the first Adamas. Here we go, here we go. Oregon, where are you at? 170 170 on the full size adamas man this thing feels so good it's so smooth and look at that it just fits so good in hand mr siebert you killed it man the adamas is a badass knife good work mr siebert full show way to do it to him that's right you gonna load that on that one up oh yeah all right, now we're going to go back what to Mr. Siebert's first name is Shane. Oh, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> so now we're going back to Spider Co. Here, now this is not a Colorado made. Uh, this is made in Seiki City, Seiki City, Japan. Excuse me. Japan. So let's see how Japan handles their crew wear. Hello. Here we go. Here we go. One hundred and ten. Both Spider Co's have been 110 grams. True that. Spider Co's getting it done. Way to do it, boys and goyles. All right. Now, we've got this last Adamas here. Uh, CPM Crew Wear. Let's see what we got. So, we did get one under 200, uh, 195. Um, I don't remember what this one was, do you? Mm -mm. So, the Flat Dark Earth was one... Uh, Something or other. One, yeah, 195. <laughs> and we're going to do the black one again just because I don't remember what it was. One thirty-five. So <clears throat> these are definitely uh, sharper <clears throat> than the other benchmates we had here. Uh, but like I said, <clears throat> I did use the fact for sure um, a handful of times, and I don't think I cut anything with the Crooked River. But uh, you know, these may have been sitting in the case for quite some time. Uh, you know, someone could have cut something with it. Uh, but for sure, these two are factory fresh and they both have got really good edges on them and they're beautiful man the mm -hmm. the adamas if you guys are on the fence about this knife like it's just it's a beast don't be <laughs> yeah don't be it really is a badass knife um you know for guys that are really concerned about the weight of their knife um i get it if you don't want to carry something like this it's not crazy heavy but you know it's not a bug out 
Um, <clears throat> but man, it's it's a badass blade for sure. And I truly believe, like, uh, you know, some guys like to carry smaller knives and whatnot. I would stick with, if you're going to buy the Adamus, if you have, you know, extra large hands, definitely go for the full size. And if you have a little bit smaller hands, then the mini is going to be your, your go-to. And, yeah, the... The way this hooks down in the back, if your hands are, are too small to fit in that on the mini, that it's... Annoying? Yeah, it's just kind of annoying. I mean, it's not terrible. You know, I mean, I could carry the mini and it yeah. would work fine. But would just be better. Yeah, it's just, I like it a lot better, the full size. Uh, my hand fits in that opening the way it's supposed to. And, yeah. Man, and it's just so smooth. Like, this thing feels like it's on bearings. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And there's not even the slightest uh, hint of a wiggle there. And wiggle, both wiggle, of them wiggle. are like that. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're rock solid. These are beautiful knives. Faux show. Both of them are perfectly centered. Thank you so much, Zach, for picking these up for me. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, so the, when we were there uh, at Benchmade, I got to handle the full-size Adamus, but it wasn't available uh, for a couple of days yet. So it dropped on Monday, and yeah, it's just, it's a beast, for sure. All right, guys. Well, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this epic <clears throat> unboxing video. We got lights. We got some badass knives. Uh, we got tons of stuff here, and... It's all good. All good stuff. All good things. Isn't that right? I guess. I don't know. You it's guess. Your deal. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Some good colors. Though. Yeah. There's some good stuff on the table here and a red light. Yeah. That's a pretty, pretty bitchin' haul right there. Mm-hmm. It don't get much better than that. This is the shit dreams are made of, guys. Well, I'm glad your dreams came true. <laughs> right on. Well, uh, hopefully everybody uh, is having a wonderful weekend. <clears throat> happy Easter. Yeah, happy weekend. Easter. Uh, go and check out. Uh, <clears throat> we also got the gifts from Olight over here. Uh, I hope the Easter Bunny comes to your house. Go and check out Omaha Knife. Uh, that's who I deal with for Spider Coast stuff, and they're fantastic. Uh, just. Phenomenal people there at Omaha Knife. Go check them out online. And then also uh, Northwest Knives in Meridian, Idaho. They are amazing people. And like I said, I got a little video coming uh, that'll give some more info about them. They've got some really cool stuff coming. And next week, uh, they've got some really badass custom stuff that'll be on their website. So stay tuned for that. Ooh. And yeah, we'll be live uh, Sunday night, 8 p.m. We are going to do a live uh, tomorrow evening. We're shooting this on Saturday. And so it is Easter Sunday, but we're going to do the live at 8 p.m. Central Time. You know, our kids are older. We don't have a lot going on. Yeah. And I totally understand. You know, people might be doing stuff with family and whatnot, and, and that's totally fine. Um, you guys can just watch it later. Yeah. All right. Well, do you have anything else you want to say? Visit our website, www.ocd3edc.com. Buy all the things. Um, send us an email, info at ocd3edc.com. Go and check out our website. Follow us on Instagram, Mrs. Underscore OCD16 and ocd 3 edc You know, we do be posting. We'll try to be better. Yeah, yeah. Become all that. a patron if you want early access to knife sales and just my commentary <laughs> and dumb memes and bit uh, complaining about my animals uh because justin's a little busy to manage it so it's on me now all right well thank you so much guys have a great day and we will catch you next time we out okay bye